In this lesson, I'm going to design a ring. I will simultaneously be using sketching and 3D body creating based on the operations I'm going to perform. We are going to subtract some bodies and use the Union tool. I will show you how to use Shaper 3D tools to design a ring. So let's start. Create a new file and draw a circle. Place that circle in the center of the coordinate system by dragging and dropping the center point. It should automatically snap to the center of the coordinate system. Tap on the circle with the Apple Pencil and change the dimensions to 9.5. Now we are going to offset the circle to add thickness to our ring. I'll draw the line in the middle of the circle to split the sketch because we will be working separately on the bottom and the top parts of this ring. Switch to perspective view and select the bottom part of the sketch. Pull it one millimeter to the side using the arrow. These arrows help you to be precise and accurate. Then pull the top part of the sketch randomly in both sides using arrows. Go to the items panel where you can see all your bodies created. Hide the upper sketch body, we'll use it later. Now, using the line I've created earlier, I will add a construction plane through the edge at angle. This construction plane will help me create the top profile of my ring. I will now move the construction plane above the profiles of my ring to have space for my new sketches. Before I dive into sketching the upper part of the ring, I will use the edges of the bottom half of the ring for the reference. To do so, I will use the project tool to project the sketch onto my construction plane. Double tap on the construction plane to set the up view from that plane. And use the pen tool to sketch the profile. Its body will intersect the ring profile that was extruded previously. You can come up with your own shape, but make sure not to sketch too far from the zero point of your coordinate system, because as you probably noticed, we are making only half of the upper part of the ring. The ring should be symmetrical, so later we will mirror this body to the other side. Now I go the rough shape of the upper part. Now it's time to go into sketching the pattern. I've sketched a line in the middle to split the sketch into two parts. Both of these parts are going to be intersected with the top part of the ring. Now I'm going to sketch the pattern as nicely as I can. Here we basically sketch lines and offset them. After that, we will trim some parts. Now we are offsetting those lines. Do not worry if the lines are too short, we will extend them. Now it's time to trim off extra lines.
Before I subtract profiles, I will select an entire sketch and I will extrude it and will intersect this extrusion with the top ring body. Pull up your profile using arrows. Then transform this object down. Unhide the top ring body in Items menu and intersect the two bodies. Now I will hide the construction plane. I will use the project tool to pull down the patterns on the body we have just created. I will extrude these projected profiles. Now I will hide the sketches we no longer need. Now tap on every face and drag it down using arrows. You can also select all these faces and drag them at the same time. Now I will fill at the edges to make this body look more smooth. Simply tap on the edge and drag the arrow in the direction you want to make a fillet. At this point, you can make any adjustments you want. Select the face and push it in the direction you want to change, like this. Now we will design diamonds. I will select octagon from the polygon shapes. I will place it next to the ring and switch to the perspective view. Find the profile and pull it up. Using the transform tool, try and rescale the top face of the extruded octagon. Notice that when the transform tool is on, you can make some other adjustments, like moving points, edges, or surfaces. After you pull and adjust the bottom part of the diamond, don't forget to union both bodies together. Now let's relocate this diamond and place it in the upper part of the ring.
Using Transform Tool, I can rotate the diamond according to the ring's body. If you want to make the distance between the diamonds more accurate, just tap on a number with your pencil and set the distance between the objects. Now I will make some more adjustments. Now let's mirror this body to the side of the ring. In Items, select the bodies of the upper part of the ring and select Transform. Place the pivot point to the center of the coordinate system and select the Copy option. Rotate these bodies 180 degrees. Now, let's color this ring. This is it for this lesson. Subscribe to our channel to never miss out on the new tutorial videos.